Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. If I sound a little weird, I apologize, my voice is giving out on me. So I'm going to try and do this video as fast as possible. But this one's new. Uh, we have a new humble bundle of interest to game developers. The first bundle of the new year, and this is from Game Dev TV. They make excellent courses, and this one is about Unreal Engine. Now if you've bought them in the past, do be aware, there was a very similar bundle to this, and a number of the assets we're going to see here you may already own. So check your library, make sure you don't already own it. If you're new to this, Humble Bundle is a collection of things, in this case online courses, uh, around a theme, in this case Unreal Engine, organized into tiers. You buy a hard dollar value tier, you get all the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do. Thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. So this one, at the $1 tier, you're getting the Unreal Engine Environment Design Course. This was 100% in a previous bundle, so it is a good bar weather. To see if you've already got this pack in the past, uh, check this guy out. By the way, they have also are running some sales over at Game Dev TV, uh, but it's still cheaper to get this course through Humble than it is through their sales, so it doesn't really matter in this case. Just something to be aware of. Uh, so the $1 tier, you're getting a single course, the environment design course. It gives you a good idea if you want to test drive, see if you like Game Dev TV's content. I find their courses quite good. They're one of my favorite online trainers in that regard. So um, yeah, as we jump up to the median tier here, this is uh, for whatever the median price is at the time. Right now it's $17 or $18. Uh, you're getting the C++ Fundamentals course, the Unreal Engine Cinematic Creator course, and then two asset packs. One is the Sci-Fi Music for Video Games, and the other one is the Material Pack. These ones generally contain like a dozen assets in it, like a music files or, or materials inside of Unreal Engine, mostly thrown ins to be honest, but uh, they are available and you download them directly from the course site as well. We'll get to the course site in just a minute. Uh, so then we go into the uh, full tier. So we're looking at $25 USD. Uh, here you're getting uh, the Unreal Engine C++ developer course. So the other one was a C++ more generalized for game development. This one is specific to Unreal Engine. Uh, this one is definitely brand new as uh, the Unreal Engine C++ multiplayer make your own co-op game course. Uh, then we got a first person shooter with blueprints, uh, game development course with blueprints, uh, action adventure game development course, uh, City Streets, Unreal Engine uh, Decal or Decal Pack. What do you say? Decal or Decal? Let me know which one you use. Uh, signage and Posting, uh, and then a General Sci-Fi Decal slash Decal Pack, and then the FPS Music Pack. Very straightforward, which is nice because my voice is currently given out. If you buy these, what you do is you get a redemption key. You redeem it on the Game Dev TV website. The Game Dev TV website uses the Teachable platform. I like Teachable. It does a good job. So here you can see I'm logged in. I am at the My Courses page, and you can filter down by specifically what you just bought, or you can and see all of the stuff they've got available. As you can see, they also have like Godot and Blender courses, and they do have a deal going on right now. They've got an Unreal pack for 30 bucks, which is still, again, cheaper to buy it through Humble, uh, but it is out there. There's, but there's also Godot and Blender. If you want to check those ones out, they've got those deals going on over at Game Dev TV. But let's get back to what you get with these courses. So we're going to go here. This is the brand new course that we were just talking about there, the uh, multiplayer make your own co-op game. This is, uh, again, using C++ and multiplayer. That's actually kind of nice, because what you're going to find a complaint is a lot of times with these courses, and it's true with a lot of the courses in this bundle, is they're aimed at beginners. Well, that is just the case with courses in general because, well, there's more beginners than there are intermediate developers. But a C++ multiplayer course, that's that's impressive. That's not something you normally see too often. Uh, it's got persistence, so when you come into the course, you, you know, you pick the area you want to go to, you pick the topic that you're interested in, pretty much you can see how well broken down it is. So it's actually into, um, you know, 10, 9 minutes, 13 minutes, 16 minutes, 11 minutes, 5 minutes, so on. So it's broken down really nice uh, granularity. Uh, so these give you the ability to almost use it as a reference, which is something that's challenging with video content a lot of the times. Uh, so let's say you're working on... Um, pressure plate in your co-op adventure game. Click here, you drop into that section. It will remember where you were. Here you can see an example of the course. Uh, it is all video. It's all framed well, captured well. They zoom in well. So if you're watching on a mobile device, you should be able to see quite well. Same with the code. They do a good job of, you know, the, the code is fully zoomed in, etc. Something I forget to do in tutorials all the time. So they do a good job of making it. So if you're watching this on an iPad or even a phone, you should be good to go. Um, Again, the materials, the ones I've gone through, I've always been impressed by their content. Um, it's pretty good. Again, a lot of it is beginner-oriented, but that's just the nature of online courses. There are more beginners than there are experienced developers out there, and developer experienced developers have less and less need of this stuff. Now, one thing you're going to notice to go along with these things is often there will be a resource section uh, or an info section, not always anything there. But the resource section, what you'll find often is a zip file or a download file 
of the project at that current state. Or if there's other associated files to go with it, like um, you know assets you need to use, etc., they'll all be there in the resources. But what's nice about this is you can literally download the course at whatever stage it's at and um, get it there. So if you just want to jump in at the midpoint, you can do that. You can download the project, open it up, and go from there. Um, yeah. So again, uh, these courses are all down to a matter of opinion. I know we've covered a lot of game dev TV stuff in the past, and I always ask your opinion what you think of it. Uh, there's you know Zenva, Mammoth, uh, Game Dev TV, and a few others are coming up quite often on Humble. And I know that Game Dev TV stuff is almost always widely endorsed. But let me know what you think. Have you picked up any of these bundles? And if so, what did you think of Game Dev TV's content? Uh, it definitely helps other people out. I, I have trouble, you know, rating what a course is like because I'm not a beginner. So it's hard to go back to a beginner's mindset and say, okay, well, this was super clear from a learning perspective. So if you actually learned using some of these courses and you know had some struggles or they were good for you, let me know in the comments down below, and it'll really help other people out. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is the bundle. What the hell is this bundle called? There's no name. All right. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so there's currently no name. This is a work in progress version of the site, though. So maybe by the time it goes live, there will actually be a name for this bundle. But this is the let's call it Learn Unreal Engine with Game Dev TV bundle. Uh, some interesting stuff for sure. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.